Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Yeah, this is the awesome updated version, really, of uh, a theme hospital, which was a game that I loved on PlayStation going back into the 90s. I absolutely love that game. So I thought we'd, we'd kind of get play. It's only been out a few days, so uh, we're quite early in. I know there's been a few sort of let's plays that uh, people have had early access have been able to to play but I kind of thought hey you know I love theme hospital anybody who's been following the channel for the last sort of three years or so may remember that I did do albeit a handful of episodes on uh, theme hospital that I downloaded from GOG but this is set to be way better so let's dive in and let's start a new game there is um, a bit of a cutscene kind of at the beginning that's kind of amusing so I'm gonna leave that in before we start the hospital um, and hopefully we can get building and try and sort of complete our initial hospital so it might be a little bit of a longer episode just as it's the uh, the first one uh, but let's dive in and let's see what happens at two point hospital over 52 percent of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Okay, I love that. It's made me laugh. I've seen it a couple of times now. Now, I have played uh, a little bit of this, really just to kind of get used to the controls. What I don't want to do is make this a whole kind of how to control everything kind of tutorial. I just want to kind of play the game. Um, and just enjoy it so i'll probably try and skip over that but we're going to open our first hospital in hogsport um so let's click to get started so we'll just wait for that to pop up there we go so let's start hogsport um we're going to build our very first hospital in two point hospital so yeah we're ready to go so i'm not going to as i said follow all of the controls and everything like that this will try and sort of give us a little bit of a a steer so we've kind of got a few little tasks as you can see in the upper right hand corner that we need to complete uh, but first of all we need to build a reception desk so we've got all of our items rooms and our uh, sort of recruitment things are all sort of down in that bottom left hand corner so let's put our reception desk in to start with nice and close to the entrance so people don't have to walk too far and let's get ourselves a receptionist now each of the um, each of the employees will have attributes. So we obviously they see they've got a star rating, we've got their salaries, but they have different skills. So we've got uh, reception and retail skills here. We've got happiness. We've got speed and efficiency and uh, yeah, sort of motivation. But I'm gonna go with, with Osman. I, I quite like the sound of Osman. So let's pop Osman down. So we've now hired our receptionist. So of course, if we're going to have a hospital, we've got to diagnose stuff. So we're going to need a GP's office to start with. So all these are pretty easy to build. They're pretty much like a sort of dragon, dragon click. We can make the rooms sort of much bigger. Um, let's pop our door here. Uh, yeah, let's pop this. We'll pop this here for a nice filing cabinet in the corner as you can see we've got lots of room items that we can actually put down so we'll pop fire extinguisher down as well and always we love we love a plant in this so we'll get that get that plant down you can see there are extra items here um but we need to actually unlock those and it says k next to it but i'm sure it actually tells us a little bit about that as we go there we go so let's build that room so that's our first gp's office but of course if we're going to have a gp's office we need to hire ourselves a doctor let's have a look and see what we've got so we've got somebody who's great at diagnosis and somebody's great at treatment i think probably at the moment we're in diagnosis so none of them are great but roger catnip roger you are our man so hospital is now open 
happy days. So we can start actually uh, sort of diagnosing people. But let's try and build ourselves a bit of a decent reception area. So let's have a look at the items that we've got. So one of the things we need to try and get is, is sort of drinks machines and snacks machines. Because people like those. But if we're going to have those, we want to have a bin. Uh, we definitely need benches for people to sit on. That's not going to let us because of that door there, is it? It's quite annoying, actually, that you can't get get them any closer. But why don't we see if we can rotate these round a little bit. And we'll start putting some benches down. Just across there. A nice leaflet stand. Because everybody likes a leaflet stand you see down in the right hand corner at the bottom let's very quickly let's stick a stick a plant in as well if you look at this you can see that the plants are, are something that increase happiness in that area so that makes that quite a nice quite a nice place but uh, yeah down in the bottom right hand corner we have our messages so we've discovered a new illness grout grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver you. the patient is seeking treatment we will need a pharmacy in order to treat them so let's get the patient to wait and let's get ourselves a pharmacy built and we will put that in next to our gp's office so i'm not going to make the rooms too big to start with uh just because we can uh improve those as we go but let's do our usual let's get a bin let's get a fire extinguisher and let's get a nice plant in there so it's a nice place to be and a filing cabinet as well because we kind of want them to keep all of the records of the uh the treatment that they're giving now with that it shows here that we actually need a nurse we need to find ourselves a nurse so let's have a look at nurses and see if we've got anybody particularly good so we've got marnie Steele, uh great bedside manner very motivated pharmacy management which is ideal so i think let's put marnie in there so she's going to be pretty good actually for um oh wow that bench let's pick that up and try and put that back in a more sensible place uh, we'll get ourselves a couple more benches it looks like we we'll probably get another one in here now can we is it gonna let us put another one down no okay well that's fine let's put a bench there and a bench there so we've got some waiting space outside the pharmacy Excellent. So that's our first patient cured by the looks of things. So we've cured our first patient. Who's our first patient? We've just cured our very first patient. Yay for us. So that is Sebastian Courgette has been cured of grout. I am delighted. Absolutely delighted to hear that. So now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. So we're going to need to get ourselves a janitor. I'm going to go for this guy here, this Monty Cardigan. And the reason I'm going for Monty, he's got good stamina. Uh, he can upgrade machines, but also he has a ghost capture. Um, that may or may not become apparent imminently. Um, what happens if we fail with diagnosis? Uh, we actually end up killing a patient. And if the patient... Um, if the patient dies there is a chance that they could turn into a ghost they could start haunting the hospital that mean everybody running around screaming like lunatics and we kind of don't really want that we don't want that at all uh, let's not worry about item control so right staff breaks we need to build our guys a staff room because i guess we kind of got to do well so it's, it's probably the working time directive and all that kind of stuff that actually you know we need to we need to give them somewhere to somewhere to rest so we'll do that there. Let's pop a sofa down there. Why don't we have a nice armchair in here as well? We'll give them some drinks and snacks machines. Because they might get hungry. I mean, let's be fair. We haven't built ourselves a hospital canteen yet. Let's put a nice bin down. Uh, we'll have a couple of, a couple of lockers. 
Maybe, yeah, just two lockers will be fine. Uh, we need a plant and we need a fire extinguisher, of course. So let's put our fire extinguisher just in the corner there. And we'll pop a nice plant just in the middle. There we go. So now we've got a nice staff room, which is very brown. Wow. Very brown. Okay, so things are going pretty well so far. We've got... Uh, yes, we've already got all of that. Thank you. So toilets is the next thing that we need. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but let's... Let's put that in here. Now I quite like a nice big toilet just because you get a number of people and one of the things that you need most definitely is a decent number of toilets. So we're going to get six cubicles in there. We are perfect. So we'll put hand dryers. We'll have a couple of hand dryers. I think we can get those there and one on that side. Let's get some hand basins in. Let's see how many of those we can get in to here. Hopefully we'll be able to get six along here as well. They're going to need a little bit more of a gap, don't they? Two. That's four. Three. That's four. So we need one for, one for each. Naturally a bin. I'm not going to worry about fire extinguishing there because hopefully there won't be any fires in the toilets. But we will put a little plant in. We will put a plant in. There we go. So hopefully that is going to avoid any unfortunate incidents. That should be plenty. Plenty of lose. So uh, that will keep everybody fairly happy. So here reports a new illness in town. This might be harder to diagnose. We need a new diagnosis room. So this is the general diagnosis, which is this room here. That's something that will be staffed by a nurse. So we'll put that Ooh. Oh man, come on. Is that going to let us expand this? We need to put add some more to the room here. Let's build this in. Lovely. So let's put our door in. Let's put our door here. Then we need our easy scan cart which we will put here the examination table which can go here filing cabinet always important that can go there let's pop our bin in the corner let's get our fire extinguisher in and of course pop a nice plant in the middle so we're gonna need another nurse to look after that so nurses so we've got Denise Pugwash uh, she's quite good with pharmacy as well so yeah we'll take we'll take Denise we'll pop her in there for the moment and see what happens right so we've got a new illness we've got clamp our doctors have discovered a new illness clamp once this grips a patient it doesn't let go it affi afflicts many living statues and self-taking chumps. We'll send the patient for treatment or pharmacy. That's good. That is good. And the staff promotion. Do we want to up to, do we want to give him Roger catnip? Do you know, let's let's promote Roger. That'll keep him happy. Okay. Why don't we have a quick look at the uh, the pharmacy animation while we're here? So we are trying to cure at the moment. Dave and Dave has been diagnosed with clamp. So let's see if this. Helps Dave. And the news today. Conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting worse every day. Perfect. We have cured Roger. From sinkholes and crumbling ceilings as Excellent. At least that will keep the cues down. So we've now unlocked the ward. Amazing. So we can now put a ward. There's a peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff. Okay, so why don't we put in... Let's put in the ward to start with. I kind of want a ward over here. I want a nice big ward. Uh, yeah, that should do nicely. 
put our ward door in uh, let's put the ward door in here let's have our nurse station there we'll rotate this because this will be where they'll get get changed then we'll start with the beds and see if we can try and get six beds in so we all want them nicely nicely lined up like so I want lockers I don't think these lockers are actually for the nurses or for the patients but I kind of like to have have some lockers for everybody let's just try and get these all nicely lined up let's move the camera up just a little bit there we go excellent so let's put in a filing cabinet for our nurse there she'll need a bin a pop a bin there of course we need a fire extinguisher and a plant naturally so we'll pop the fire extinguisher just by the door and a nice a nice plant in the middle that everybody can enjoy excellent so what's going to be used for diagnosis and also to treat the range of illness a nurse is required okay so let's see if we can get another nurse oh you look pretty good don't you tarquin who doesn't like who doesn't like a Tarquin? Uh, let's grab some items. I think we need some benches to put outside. Just in case we get people waiting. Oh, we've got a door there, haven't we? We've got one on the end there. Amazing. All going pretty well so far. So, what was it saying? It was another GP's office we needed, wasn't it? So let's build ourselves another GP's office up at the back here. So I might set that one. Actually, no, that'll be fine there. We'll pop the door there. Filing cabinet just at the back here. Have his usual bin. Fire extinguisher plant and let's hire ourselves another GP oh another Tarquin let's just go with it just because we love we love a Tarquin alrighty so I'm looking the deluxe clinic which is the bit that we need to uh, to cure lightheadedness we need to earn six thousand six hundred and ten dollars keep those fingers green so we've got a bed face there's a new illness i've just got doctors have discovered a new illness bed face a quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping in a strange angle doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles we'll send the patient for treatment our ward so okay so is that somebody with bed face so you're you're a nurse you're going for a rest so you've got bed face Layla Squirm. So we're going to pop you into bed to cure your bed face. Interesting. We are 3,610 away from getting our clinic. We've not killed anybody yet. I'm going to take this as a win. I am. I am going to um, hire us another janitor though just because of cleanliness and things like that so what can you do that's different so you're quite motivated let's take you benjamin pop you down so cure three patients with lightheadedness so does that now mean that we can build our deluxe clinic yes we can awesome oh no let's put this where should we put our deluxe clinic? I think let's put it. Do we want it here? But let's add to it. Let's expand it again. 
there we go so that's a usable space and that's as big as the room needs to be as a minimum um, I might actually add a little bit more to that just because let's put our door in here and we could do with some windows actually because there's not not that many windows in here so, so this is our machine which should deal with our lightheadedness let's pop this here let's put down the console that our doctor wanted to use let's put it at a nice jaunty angle because we can uh, everybody needs a bin yeah, everybody needs an extinguisher and of course we need our plant so that should cover everything that we need for that room and that means we can actually now start treating our patients oh oh let's add to this room can we add to this room let's edit the room quickly we need to add some blocks because that's gone a bit weird hasn't it there we go that's better sorry we didn't mean to kick you out i'm sorry right let's get ourselves a few more benches for outside there we go the bench is ready let's have a look and see how this happens so it looks like he's unscrewed his head growing a new head yay awesome there you go Dan you're cured right looks like we've got another patient ready to come in with lightheadedness good old Tarquin right so who we got this time we have got Lance Tennyson or Lance Tension Tension Lance Tension right So that's got rid of his light head and he's got his new one awesome boom okay two out of three now have we got any patients that are kicking around that uh, might be needing a lightheadedness cure Are you diagnosing anybody nope Right, so we've got our nurse in there. So what are you waiting for? You have an appointment with the GP. Ah, right, there we go. So we've got Ozzy Bottomley. Who is... How far is he through his... He is going to the Didux Clinic. So this is our third... Our third patient with lightheadedness. Awesome. So, come on then. Come on, Ozzy. Let's get you cured. Hopefully, this might be what we need to complete our ability to get a one-star hospital. And this is my aim, kind of, really, for this, is to get to a to one star for this episode. So, yeah, it might go a little bit longer than the others. But hopefully it should be a bit of fun. I love this. Awesome. There we go. Okay, so, dear hospital administrator, we have a one-star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating. That's one out of a possible three. Go us. Uh, by the Two Point Health Ministry, I've received, I've retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Okay, so we've got uh, 10,000 bonus. We've got 100 kudosh, which is great. So that now unlocks a couple of other hospitals. We've got Lower Bullocks or, um, and we also unlock the light-headed poster. But continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport, Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets if you believe you're capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organisation by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice, they say, is yours. So it's from another Tarquin. You know, we are destined here to have many Tarquins. So, what do we think, guys? What do we think? Do we stay? Do we carry on with Hogsport and expand this a little bit more? Or do we go to lower bullocks i'll leave that up to you guys so leave a comment 
um just to let us know what you what we think you should do for the next episode so whether we think we should go to lower books or whether we should stay in hogsport if you like the video uh click the like button if you disliked it click a dislike and uh if you are wanting to see more please click on the bell and uh, that will notify you of any time that i'm putting up any more videos and if you really like it and you want to see more why not give the little subscribe button a little click as well and uh that'll be great perfect all right well we're going to call it an episode at this point I hope you enjoyed our first sort of little view of Two Point Hospital and uh, we shall be back with more. So, hope you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next one. Take care for now. Bye.